It's Valentine's Day here today and my mum is so cute. Before we came away, she gave me these to give to the kids. So they've been in the suitcase the entire time. John and I both remembered to give each other cards this year. Last year, I forgot. Oh, fancy seeing you guys out here. Bubbles in the corridor. <laughs> Decent bubbles for the train. Welcome to Disney! <laughs> it's going to be a full on Disney day today. We've got maybe even three parks we're going to attempt to do today because it's our last day. So starting off in Animal Kingdom because we haven't been there yet this holiday. And then we'll see where the day takes us. John's just gone back to the room because we forgot Lottie's jumper. You definitely need to wear a jumper in the mornings in February. But I wanted to show you Lottie's shorts for Animal Kingdom. Look what they've got on them. Chip and Dale. Chip, 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 chip and Dale. That's my favourite one. We don't actually know who's who, who's Chip I, and who's I, Dale. I, I, We're going to have to Google that and find out today because if we meet them, we can't be like, I, think, I, think I don't that's, know. That's Chip, that's Dale. I got these for three ninety nine in the oh. Zara sale. On the bus, ready to go to Animal Kingdom. I got a <laughs> And the kids are eating their Valentine's Day chocolate, which is probably not an ideal breakfast, but when you're on holiday. Alongside what seems like the entire park, we are power walking to try and get on the Pandora ride. We're going very quick because we've got the early hours and otherwise it's gonna be really busy later. We've been in the queue for about, how long, 35 minutes? Yeah. And we're nearly at the front. It said about 40 minute wait time and we're nearly at the front. We're inside all the bit and the theming is amazing. It's all like, it's exciting. We're in, we're ready to go. I don't think you'll be able to hear me because it's really, really noisy, like Avatar music. But Flight of Passage, the Avatar ride, absolutely incredible. It made me cry again. Last time we went on it, it made me cry. And then this time it's made me cry as well. And it was seeing Ren's little face because He's like all of their faces, but Ren's not as keen on rides, um, like roller coasters and stuff. But this holiday, he started to get more into things. So like, he went on that one and he went on soaring in Epcot and stuff. And it's just so cute. His little face was like, <sighs> it was literally lit up and his smile was so big. And yeah, it just made me cry. It's such an incredible ride. Is it nice? Have you had one of the little balls yet? Are they funny? <laughs> They're nice. So the kids have got these, which are like, can I just grab it lots? They're from um, the Pandora sort of area. And they're these slushies. I think they're called Night Blossom slushies. And they've got, what are the flavors? I can't remember. So pur purple is? Purple is pear. Purple is pear. And uh, this is green apple. Green apple. And then they've got these like boba balls on them. Good morning, adventurers. Lottie entertaining us on the drums. So we're on our way to go to Everest Expedition, which again is probably one of my favourite rides. I've only ever been on it once and I absolutely loved it. Um, there's a really good twist which I won't spoil if anyone's coming to Disney. the ride on a daddy. <laughs> Is he heavy? Yeah. Having a, a step contest to see who can do the most steps in a day. So we think that yours should be doubled because you're carrying Ren. Can anyone see any otters? This is the Beach Club Resort. I think this is one of my, I've never stayed here, but I think this is one of my favorites to look at. It's just really, really pretty. So we're just walking along and uh, we're gonna go and grab, hopefully, an ice cream at Beaches and Cream, which I will show you in a second. Wow! Go on! 
bubbles? Who likes bubbles? Everybody likes bubbles. I haven't actually updated you on what we're doing. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It's not that windy, but the camera does like that to do that annoying like sort of wind noise, but hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. So we've left Animal Kingdom now. We had such a lovely morning there, but we just felt like, I think because we've only got three days at Disney, we kind of want to just try and cram in as much as possible. And that doesn't necessarily mean stay in one park like the whole time. We've sort of picked and chosen what we wanted to do in each park. Like we love Animal Kingdom, we really enjoyed it but there's other things that we want to do so I think it's really different I think people do Disney differently like some people stay in the parks from morning till end and I'd love to come one day I've never done Disney where you do like you know you can get like a 14 day ticket and then you could just come and go as you please we've only ever done it like for a couple of days so we've never really had that sort of experience of like dipping into each park here and there so we try and do a little bit of that but on the sort of like few days that we're here so one of my favorite things to do in Disney is to like resort hop we are going to go into Epcot but it's not two o'clock yet so we've come to the Beach Club Resort which is actually one of my favorite resorts I've never stayed here but it's just beautiful and we're gonna actually go and get an ice cream from this really cool like little like restaurant diner there called Beaches and Cream soda shop I think it's called and they do these amazing Mickey sinks and we thought we'd come and get one of these and because this is the Epcot resort area we thought we'd then walk to Epcot afterwards but as we were walking along the kids have discovered this like little artificial beach and the weather is just glorious and they're playing connect four and I'm just sat here and you know you're like we're actually in no rush this is kind of what a holiday is all about isn't it just chilling and going with the flow and this is lovely I feel really really relaxed so we're just sitting here I've got the boardwalk over there if you watched my video last night and I said about how like the boardwalk is one of my favorite places in Disney this resort you can get to the boardwalk that's behind me so we'll probably walk down there as well at some point and we're just going with the flow and then we'll go to Epcot later look at this wowzers we're already demolishing it. Yeah. So this is a Mickey sink and then you can take it home. That's a cherry. Do you like cherries? Yeah. You don't want them. Ren <laughs> just ate a cherry and then put it back. We're not even out of the first layer yet. The cream layer. Although it's not looking as pretty now. We've just seen the coolest pin to trade. Look, there's a 2023 pin. That is a really good one. I'm sure you ask, I'm sure they'll say. Do you want to ask? Which one do you want to trade? Okay. Can we trade a pin, please? Yeah. We'd like, so we just take it off. Oh, yeah, you just take it off, sweetheart, don't you? And then put, that is such a cool one. So there were lots of people there before, so I didn't want to talk too much. But, so with the pin trading, normally, like, every shop and restaurant, not every single one, but a lot of them just have pins, like, outside and you can trade. But most of the time, there's not particularly like great ones, is there? This is like, I, you wouldn't expect to normally see one like this on the pin board. So that is a result. That is what they call a result. Just quickly, another thing as well. Oh, thank you, Ren. We've got some bubbles while we talk. Um, we've been collecting these pins for years, so these have been over a few different trips. Look at this. So this is one of the like special edition things at the Festival of Arts at Epcot. So this is a giant chocolate chip cookie and then it's got a little paintbrush with it and you can paint. Who's gonna paint? Who's gonna have first painting go? Because there's no rush, it's not like the kids gonna melt, so you can just do yeah, bit more red. some nice painting. Yeah. How cool is that? Really cool. <laughs> You're doing a good job there, they're all taking it in turns to paint. Still got some major painting going on here. Yeah, come on. Have you actually tried the cookie yet? Yeah. Only literally seconds. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Look at this. What a masterpiece. 
So one of the best things about Epcot is definitely the food. I think it's called the World Showcase and you can wander around and you can get food from different countries like little snacks and stuff. And at the moment they've got the Festival of Arts on which means that there's some special edition stuff. But one of John and I's like little things about our relationship is that we love poutine, don't we? We first tried it in Canada like a few years ago and then one day for Valentine's Day a few years ago John got us like a poutine kit. It was really good. So we've just found two sets of poutine, like a gnocchi poutine and also a um, traditional poutine, which John is rapidly eating and I'm not ahead of me. Um, that's the problem with vlogging. So I'll show you them quickly. So this is the gnocchi poutine, which is not looking as appetizing as it did a few minutes ago because John has eaten half of it. And then this is the traditional poutine. Love it. From the Canada part, obviously, because it's a traditional Canadian dish. Well, I don't know French if I'm making Canadian that up. Maybe. French Canadian dish. I know the Donner one's amazing, isn't it? That's so good. Do you think he's drawing? Stitch. Stitch. Wow. Mm. That's so cool. Lottie likes the Winnie the Pooh one. This one is amazing. And I like that one. Look, these are actual original ones. Look, signed in numbers. $595. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I don't know if you can see that. That's Winnie dressed up as Tigger and Tigger dressed up as Winnie. Shaw! Sweet news, you suit totally rock! Dude! Yeah! Got a serve for some swimmers. Who are my swimmers? Raise a food if you're a swimmer. We've just been to watch Turtle Talk with Crush, which is really fun. I recommend that one because it's kind of like interactive, isn't it? Yeah. And they all talk to you. to Magic Kingdom. We were trying to get here for the sunset. We saw the castle all glowing in the uh, in the orange light. I've got some bubbles. I oh, like this. Lovely. Yeah, the best bubbles. The bubbles. And it's so nice to see Magic Kingdom at night. It's always like a little bit of a different vibe. Oh, thank you. And oh, I just actually ate one then. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're just going to wander around, go on a few rides, just soak up the atmosphere because it's, it's just really nice at night time. Turn to open the door. One day I'll let it be your turn to open Ooh. the door. <laughs> they literally all holiday have been. We actually had Ren at one point crying because it was his turn to open the door, and Lottie opened the door to the room. It's big, big, big issues, big, big, issues, big dramas. It's not a special door. It's just a normal door opened with a key card. But it's just the fact that we have our own individual key cards, which act as like passes to the park. Look, let me show you. Like this one, John's got Goofy, and uh, they act as actors, and it's got his name on the back, John. And that, like, you can still get like magic bands and stuff, but just for three days, we didn't think it was necessary. So that's why it's so exciting to open the door with your I own. Out. Yeah, they've lately locked us out. Yeah, they have. <laughs> and we've had this Very every good. night as well. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And now we're going out for the fireworks.
tired in the best possible way. It has been such a full on day today, but such a good day. I can't even choose which day has been my favourite so far. They've all just been really, really good. But I woke up at five o'clock this morning and then we were up and out by like half past seven. Then we went to Animal Kingdom, then we went to Epcot, then we went to Magic Kingdom. So three parks in one day is very, very good going. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> 22,000 steps. 22,000 steps Ten we've miles. done. 10 miles. 10 miles we've walked today, so no wonder we are all tired. And we went to Magic Kingdom, we did a few things there, and then, you know, when you just think, oh, we're really, really tired, we were going to watch the fireworks down there, but you know, when you think, actually, the beauty of this hotel, and if you've got a room facing the castle, is that you can watch the fireworks from the castle, from the castle, that would be cool, from the room, so we decided just to come back. We're all super tired and we're checking out of this hotel tomorrow to go on to the next part of our holiday. I have absolutely loved our time in Disney, but the Disney content won't be over just yet because we will be doing some Disney related stuff towards the end. Like I definitely want to go to Disney Springs at some point. I would love to go back to Disney Boardwork. As I keep saying, it's my favorite. So I definitely want to go back there. We've got lots more exciting stuff coming up over the next few days. I can't even think what day we're on. This is day three third full day and so we've got still so much so hope you're enjoying these travel videos i'm really enjoying making them i'm really enjoying sort of doing them every day and then it'll be really nice to edit them all when i get home so we're gonna go to bed now or like the kids are gonna go to sleep and i am going to stay up for a little bit and then probably go to sleep myself because like i said we've got an early start tomorrow to get going and get on to our next exciting adventure that we're going to have but thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow for me some point when i've edited them in the future for you see you later bye